After losing several expensive Samsung devices due to misleading information or incorrect tutorials, I decided to create my own 100% working tutorial on teaching you all how to successfully root any and every Samsung device, including the Samsung Galaxy OM5 running Marshmallow. Stay tuned. Again, this tutorial is specifically designed to teach all you non-rooted users on how to install Twerp Recovery on your Samsung Galaxy OM5 T-Mobile running operating system Marshmallow. There are two simple but important steps to rooting the Samsung Galaxy OM5 for T-Mobile running operating system Marshmallow. The first step is to install the Twerp Recovery onto your mobile device. The second step is to install SuperSue to manage the root permissions. In the video description, you will find some very helpful and important notes and also the download links to all the files and software you need to successfully complete this tutorial. First off, make sure you download the correct Samsung USB drivers for your particular device. Next, download a very useful FTP program called Odin. After that, download the Torp Recovery to install on your Samsung Galaxy OM5. The link is in the video description. Now you can go ahead and install the Samsung USB drivers on your PC I told you to download earlier. Right after that, extract the Odin program files to your PC as shown in the picture. Right after that, copy the Torp Recovery files on to your PC as well. Activate development options by clicking the build number 7 to 10 times. Make sure to enable USB debugging mode. Also make sure OEM is unlocked. Switch off your device. Enter into download mode by pressing volume up, home, and power buttons all at once. After entering into download mode, it will give you a warning. Press volume up button to continue. Now it's time to connect your mobile device to your PC via USB cable like the picture. Launch the Odin application. It will show a message added. If you did not get this message, repeat the above steps. After getting added message, select PDA button, then browse for the twerp recovery file selected, then tick auto reboot. A very important step many people forget and fail to mention. Make sure Odin says pass before you unplug your device from the computer. This is important. You can check the twerp recovery is correctly installed or not by entering recovery mode. Do this by switching off your phone and this time you're going to press volume up, home, power buttons all at the same time. Congratulations, you've made it through the first step of this tutorial. Now on to the second and final step step of this tutorial. Download the SuperSue zip file and copy it into your internal memory on your mobile device. Switch off your mobile device once again and boot into recovery mode by pressing the volume up button, the home button, and the power buttons all at once. Once inside the custom twerp recovery mode, select wipe, advanced wipe, and then select cache data. Return to home of twerp, select install. Select SuperSue zip you downloaded, swipe to flash. Once everything is done flashing, it will tell you that it's done. You can reboot your mobile device. At last, if you have done everything successfully, if you follow everything to the T and done nothing wrong, you should see the SuperSue icon application on your phone desktop as shown in the image. In closing, as mentioned at the beginning of this tutorial, this method can be used to root all and every Samsung device out there, I assure you. I hope this tutorial helped you all, and if you did, make sure you hit the subscribe and like button. Leave all your interesting and creative thoughts in the comment box below. I'll see you guys next time.